Okay. So if I go this way... We can sneak up on this guy, first of all. But that's not who I really wanted to go sneaking around onto. What I really wanted to do was go back super duper f I wanted to kill this guy because this guy bugged the shit out of me earlier. It's going to give me some blood vials. What is this? So there's the, uh, a lamp to return to the hunter's dream. Or you can go back up to this door here. So there's clearly something on the other side. There's a lady on the other side there. You can see her face in that little crack. Splendid. Let me ask you a small kindness. Okay. You're soon off to hunt, I presume? I am hunting. Then, if you find any survivors, tell them to seek Yusefka's clinic. Upon my Hippocratic oath, if they are yet human, I will look after them. Perhaps even cure them. So if I find anyone out and about... These beasts, they are not to be feared. This time the night is long. I may be trapped here, but I should do something to help. I'll even offer a reward for your cooperation. Tempted? Very. Off you go, then. Okay. If you find any, you can assure them there's no place safer. Please, do me this service. Okay, so the Dr. Yusefka also wants me to send people her way if I find them. So I can either send them to the really, really scrupulous character at the cathedral who laughs at me and tells me to send as many people his way as possible. Or... Sorry, there's a little yellowish glow over there. I'm like, did I miss a collect... a pickupable item there? Or... I can send them to Yusefka's clinic. Alright, now... Before I tell you where I'm going to send the old lady, I want you to go down in the comments below. Tell me, where do you think I should send people? The guy that's, like, rubbing his hands together, like, pal, salivating at the prospect of people coming to his church? Or the doctor with the Hippocratic Oath to serve and protect? with the clinic that just wants to harbor people. Which place do you think is more trustworthy to send the old br lady to? Okay. Now, we just gotta get through Shit Dog Alley and then Shit Dog Alley is shit. Once we're through Shit Dog Alley, then, and only then, can we send the old lady to where we want her to go. Look, shit dogs are all dead. Now we can send this old lady to where we need her to go. Doot doot. Well, if you want to go off your arse, it wouldn't be in this mess. You're Don't beat on the door. I just got here. So what will it be? I, uh... Yeah. So you can tell her to go to Oedon Chapel with the guy that's, like, rubbing his hands together thinking about, like, people coming to his church. You stuff his clinic. Or I can withhold information and just be an asshole. I'm gonna send him... Or I'm gonna send her to Oedon Chapel. Okay. So there's a purpose for that. Because you find out later in the game that Yusefka gets possessed by a, an, a more late game enemy type. And she, does, and she does experiments on all of the people that you send to her chapel or to her clinic. So if you send people here, yes, it is a safe place. 
but later in the game, all of them will be killed because Yusefka will turn into a monster. If I send them here, they'll be safe. Ish. So everyone is going to Aiden's chapel. An outsider worth a lick of salt. Well, don't just stand there. Don't you have work to do? I do. Get this mess done with. Whoa, whoa! I uh, I don't I don't just murder people, ma'am. I <laughs> I don't just murder people, ma'am. <laughs> that was uh, that was pretty good timing on my part. I don't just kill people. Slash! I super kill people. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna send everyone to Awaiden's Chapel, and then... Once they are... Th Gilbert! <coughs> Tell me, Gilbert. Now where? I made it to the Cathedral Ward. Ah, oh, you needn't concern yourself with me. I am concerned with you, though, Gilbert. A little help now. But before I take this, the flame sprayer. No use of it, but perhaps you. <coughs> perhaps I can what, Gilbert? Gilbert. Did me was incurable, but this time gave me hope. Gilbert, what do you have? Blood bought me time. I was most fortunate. Unharmed by the plague of beasts. I can even Gilbert. human. Ah, uh, don't you worry about me. <laughs> Gilbert. Gilbert. Telling me not to worry about you is like telling water not to be wet. Gilbert! Gilbert! Oh no. Gilbert. This could be bad, guys. Gilbert's dying. We need to figure out a way to stop this this problem. First, we need to we need to look at the flame sprayer, a special weapon used by certain members of the healing church. Spits searing flames by using blood imbued quicksilver bullets as a special medium. Not the most effective weapon by any stretch, but sometimes a sea of flame is just what the doctor ordered. Besides, the beasts of Yarnum can always use a good cleansing. Alrighty. Well, that's, uh... So Gilbert has a flamethrower, which is interesting. Didn't have, uh... He didn't have anything... Overly, overly good to say this time, but he gave me a flamethrower, which makes me super duper happy. Oh, one of the best things in this game. So if you do certain things, the doll will respond. Heh, <laughs> that actually pushes her cloak too. Wait. Yeah, <laughs> she claps. <laughs> this is awesome. The doll is one of my favorite characters in this game. Just because she's so strange, it makes absolutely no sense why she's actually a uh, alive. Other than you've touched some madman's knowledge and now the doll talks to you. go back and explore some more of the cathedral ward. So we got three spots. We have, we have out the door straight, make a right up the stairs. We have go out the door into that little courtyard, up the stairs with the really tall, like, plotty guy with the giant axe, past the gate that I can't, uh, that I couldn't unlock before. Or we have out the door into the little courtyard area down the stairs oh hey and she's already here so here's the old lady take it in oh no I haven't forgotten I know do you think I owe you something 
No, I just wanted to see that you were okay. I want to kill you, but I know if I do that I'll be sad because I killed a character that sh that I get to watch go mad. Because you are now stuck in this church, woman. And nothing you can do is going to stop it. Ooh, we are getting some serious glare from that window. That is not helpful. I missed. I missed super hard. Got him. All right. Get my uh, get my bloodborne legs back under me since it's been a couple hours since I played. I know. I'm like, oh, it's been a couple hours. Oh, ho, ho. look at these clutch murders. Look at these clutch murders. Okay, so we're doing all the uh, the boss fights and the boss rushes and such this playthrough. So right now we are basically going down. We're, we're traveling down towards the bottom of the map. At least the bottom of the, the map that I know of. There's a dog of bullshit hanging out with like four dudes. I need the dog of bullshit to trigger. He doesn't want to trigger. Oh god! <laughs> no! Like I said, the dogs are bullshit. It's like, look at this dog. This dog is just causing problems with one other guy. Now imagine if there's two dogs and another guy. Or three dogs and another guy. It just becomes exponential amounts of garbage. Just shit pouring from everywhere. Because the dogs are so fast. And they do so much damage for how quick they are. Like... If they weren't fast, it wouldn't be a problem. If they didn't do that much damage, it also wouldn't be a problem. But they're fast, and like, they stun lock. Everything they do stun locks. Just do, do, do. Oh boy, now I get two dogs of bullshit and a dude with a gun up a staircase. Got them both. Okay. And that... <laughs> An unintentional dodging is great. Oh, yeah. You wanted it. You got it! Death to the bitches! Okay. Staircase. Leads me into this little room corridor thingamajiggy. Which I can use this here. Lever? What does this do? Opens... Okay, it slides that sarcophagus, and that sarcophagus does something. Oh, it reveals the staircase. Ooh, madman's knowledge. One second, while I uh, put that in the old uh, pocket. We want as much insight as possible, because a little uh, little bit of info about to be dropped on you. So, if you have madman's knowledge, or insight, whatever you want to call it, and you have enough of it at any given time, you start to see the world in different eyes, basically. Like, you've you've been awoken to the different like parts of the world enough all right you know what? I'm gonna talk to that guy but I think I saw an enemy that's probably running towards me actively right now and I don't really want to get hit while I'm trying to have a conversation so we're gonna clean out the guys in the lower level of the chapel first so that way they don't pathfind their way to me and kill me Alright, buddy. Where are you at here? Oh, hi. There you are. Gotcha. Okay. Well, now that we've uh, we've killed those guys, I didn't even pay attention to what I picked up off that dude. More madman knowledge. Yeah, sure. We'll go up to five. So, yeah. The more, uh, the more insight you have, the more... The Dif the more stuff in the world looks different 
because you've been awoken basically to the various things happening around you. Like there's some stuff you see that you couldn't see before and people look different and stuff they're carrying looks a little different. And it's just a big old like, what are you praying to right now, guy?